way I did it was um, I don't actually remember the exact the exact topics, and, and it's going to be different for every you know for every launch. Um, but but I think the the lesson to take away from it is um, I mean. It, a, if you're not talking to your customers, you're doing it wrong, right? Yeah, we work on the internet, but like if you're providing a service to someone, you need to be communicating with them, right? By email, on the phone, et cetera. Um, especially if they're paying you like $1,000 or more a month, like you have to be catching up with them. And um, but, but the big thing for me was, so I, I had a, a drip uh, campaign, drip email campaign that was like three, I think it was three emails and then the final like, you know, schedule a phone call with me. Um, and basically just like building up to it. And so it was questions around like, you know, how well are projects closing off of Credo? Like, you know, wh what are average project sizes? Like basically the questions that like people have been asking me. Um, and also like when I was on sales calls with other people, right? Like I, you know, it was basically like every business has when you're doing like sales on the phone, you hear the same three to five questions all the time, right? So write emails about those and answer them. <laughs> you know, it's not that hard. Um, but, you know, it's, so you can basically like qualify people in more and more. Um, so I wrote those emails and basically just like took them down and did it like three days in a row. Um, you know, tomorrow I'm going to like, uh, email and basically say like, you know, I've, I have you on this list because I have something big coming up. I think you might be interested. This is what I'm thinking. You know, tomorrow I'm going to tell you, you know, tell you a bit more and talk a bit more about like, you know, how projects have been closing on Credo and the pro and, and how I'm proposing to solve that. Um, and then, you know, kind of on down the, on down the line like that. So I was building up um, excitement for it. Right. And building up anticipation that basically after the second one, I had like three or four people email me and be like, can you just give me the freaking link already to schedule a phone call? And I'm like, no, you need to like, you need to read, read the next one. And then on Thursday, you're going to get the link. Um, you know, like I made them go through that process. Um, so, and, and you know, they weren't, they weren't frustrated. They were just like excited to, you know, excited to get going on it. And then afterwards, I think it's really important. And I learned this from uh, Jennifer Bourne, B-O-U-R-N, who runs BourneCreative.com, a um, friend of mine in the WordPress space, right? She's all about automating your agency. Um, and so basically, like, then after that, after they sign up, then also have a set email drip that is like, okay, now that you've signed up, like, you know, j just to reiterate all the things that we talked about on the phone and I like, talked about before, like, this is, you know, this is a... a for me, it's like, this is how much work I'm looking to send you. This is how the process works. This is where the leads are coming from. This is what I'm looking to do to grow Credo over the next six months, right? Like all those things that I had been asked just to answer those questions. So I didn't have to answer them time and time and time again. So they basically got like, so, so yeah, it was like a three drip, three drip cell email sequence, a final scheduled phone call with me. And then, a, you know, congratulations, you've been accepted. Okay, it's live, sign up. And then like another three or four emails, you know, to, to just like reiterate information once they, once they were actually paying me, they didn't get those until they actually started paying me.